We're asked to solve the differential equation x prime equals one divided by x squared for x of one equals two. Because the derivative is given as x prime, notice we do not know the independent variable. Let's assume it's t and write x prime as dx dt. This gives us dx dt equals one divided by x squared. In this form, it's easier to tell. It's not gonna be helpful to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to t because we have a function of x on the right. And therefore, we'll use the inverse function theorem from calculus and write the given differential equation of dx dt equals one divided by x squared as dt dx equals x squared divided by one. Notice essentially we're taking the reciprocal of both sides of the equation. Now notice the independent variable is x and we have a function of x on the right side and therefore now it will be helpful to integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Before we do this though, let's write dt dx as t prime of x equals, let's write the right side as just x squared. And now again we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x On the left, the indefinite integral of t prime of x with respect to x is equal to t of x plus a constant. We'll include the constant on the right. On the right, the indefinite integral of x squared with respect to x is x cubed divided by three plus a constant. Let's go ahead and put plus c. This constant c includes the constant on the left and the right on the right. This is the general solution to the differential equation expressed as t as a function of x. The next step is to determine the constant c to determine that particular solution, and then we'll solve for x. We need to be careful when determining c though. For x of one equals two, t is equal to one, and x is equal to two. This is equivalent to saying t of two equals one. In either case, x is equal to two, and t is equal to one. So we replace t of x with one, and x with two. This gives us one equals eight thirds plus C. Subtracting eight thirds on both sides, we have C is equal to one or one over one minus eight thirds. Obtaining a common denominator of three. Notice here we have C is equal to three thirds minus eight thirds or negative five thirds. And therefore the particular solution expressed as T as a function of X is T of X equals Let's write x cubed divided by three as one third x cubed. And then c is negative five thirds, giving us minus five thirds. So while this is that particular solution as t is a function of x, we now want to solve this for x because the differential equation is given as x as a function of t. So first let's write t of x is just t. And then we have equals one third x cubed minus five thirds. Let's first clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by three. Three times t is three t equals three times one third x cubed is x cubed minus three times five thirds is five. Next we add five to both sides which gives us three t plus five equals x cubed. And then finally to solve for x we take the cube root of both sides of the equation. We do not include a plus or a minus because the index is odd. On the right, we have the cube root of x cubed, which is equal to x, or x of t, which is equal to the cube root of the quantity 3t plus five. This is the particular solution to the given differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.